hello everyone thanks for clicking into this video in this video I'm going to try and explain Kubernetes liveness probes okay so I am on this Kubernetes documentation and we scroll down and there's an example about liveness probes so first of all what is a liveness probe so the answer is in the question so it basically is a way to check or probe and find out whether the, the container running inside your pod is healthy or not. So let me say that again. It's a basically a way to check, to health check your container, the container running in your pod. Okay. So we're going to actually understand that further by using this example straight from the documentation so i just copied that code the yaml into my kubernetes cluster i am on the master node and a couple of uh, worker nodes we don't need to worry about that so so here's the example that they've given so let's try to understand this so this is actually a pod creation YAML file, right? With the V1 API version. And there's some metadata. We're naming this uh, liveness exec. And there's a label. These are not that important, at least for this purpose. And we have a spec. And what's in the spec? So we have a spec for the container that's going to run inside the pod and the container is going to be based on this busy box image and there are there's a certain argument that is passed uh, for when the container starts this command is going to kick in right so what is this command this command just creates a file then it sleeps for 30 seconds then it removes a file then it's going to sleep for 600 seconds that's what's going to happen as soon as the container starts and there is a section that comes under containers as well and that is called liveness probe and and what is this liveness liveness probe going to do so this is going to execute this command based on which the health of the pod is going to be determined. So this command is going to run cat temp healthy. And this is the same file as the one that is created by this command. So if the file is present in this container, so this command is going to come back uh, with a success exit code, right? Zero. Okay. If this file is not present, after this remove command, it is going to be removed, right? So if this file is not present, then this command is going to come back with some error code actually, right? So, so based on this command, we're going to see if the container is healthy or we're not going to do anything. Basically, the liveness probe is going to take care of it. Now, what is this initial delay seconds? It's just telling uh, the liveness probe to start after five seconds, right? Not immediately. Like if you if it's done immediately, then this file is probably not going to be uh, available. So that might uh, cause some issues. So we're going to say delay for five seconds before you start checking the container, and then period seconds that's actually the interval between the checks so it's not just going to happen once it's going to happen continuously and every five seconds we're going to check this uh, check by running this command okay sounds good so let's go ahead and do a cleanup first I don't I want to make sure there's no pre-existing parts so let's actually delete these pods that I've created before. We want like a clean slate. 
okay so those are cleaned up so now I'm just going to create this pod so let's check on this pod so right now that pod is up and running right and let's in fact get more details about this pod by running the describe command okay now you can see what's happening we were basically placing the pod on node 2 or the worker node 2 and we're pulling the busy box image we're creating the container etc so at this point there's nothing fancy going on it's just a normal pod that is running so let's run this again and now you see something interesting now it says the liveness probe failed because it cannot open this particular file remember we are trying to run a cat command to do this check so we're not able to open this file so now this file is going to uh, well, oh, well, basically the liveness probe is going to destroy this container and it's going to recreate it. Okay, so if you run this again, you will see that it's created the container again. It's just created the container and that's what liveness probe does. It basically checks the health of the container and if it's not healthy, it's going to drop the container or delete the container it's going to create it again from the image that we defined in the yaml file now another version of liveness probe which is probably more uh, useful is this one which is basically very similar but this time we're going to be using an nginx container and what we're going to do is probe on a particular URL right on basically port 80 right so so this is nginx right so we know that uh, nginx has a default page web page so if you let let me create the container first Okay, so we have the container. So if I do a kubectl get pod and I want to get the IP this time, so let me get the wide output. And this one is the IP. So if I do a curl and that IP, then we get the default web page, right? So this is the default web page coming from index.html. So now the liveness probe is happening, and what it is doing is it's basically going to this index.html and grabbing the web page right so now liveness probe is not just r running a command it's actually trying to reach a particular url and exactly this path and exactly this port and these two are pretty much the same the initial delay second is three three seconds and then the checks are happening every three seconds so this as you can see could be a little more useful right because we want to be doing things like this we might be running a web server we want to check on uh, the health of the web server by trying to get to a particular URL a particular path on a particular port right so if I go inside this container and delete this guy which let me do so i'm going to go inside this container uh, okay let me go ahead and run this command i want to do this i want to get into nginx container i want to have a bin bash shell actually okay 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this index.html, which should be inside this user. And I'm going to be just renaming this file, you know. So I'm just going to call it whatever. And if I exit now, and let's say I do this, it's still running. So let me actually do a describe on this guy. As you can see, again, our Leibniz probe failed with the status code 404, right? If I do a curl again, it comes back because our Leibniz probe has already recreated the container, right? It's already recreated the container. So that's basically it. So this is another way of doing it. So there are a lot of variations. You can do a uh, TCPS. So this is TCP. You can do different ports. Uh, there's another probe called readiness probe, which is kind of similar, uh, not exactly the same. So we'll look at uh, readiness probe another day. But for now, I hope that was useful. Thank you. Do check out my other videos. I'll see you guys there. Thank you.